people it's the party machine here it is the party machine what's that the sound of the party mm -hmm. do you have the time madam do you have the time it's party time come on <laughs> i waste a lot of my life looking at the internet i recently finished the internet <laughs> i don't know if you've ever done that but a picture of bill gates comes up like that and you get to enter your initials World! I thought I warned you in the past about messing with me. I said you can mess with me once and you might get away with it. Mess with me twice and chances are I still probably won't remember. But mess with me numerous times across a concerted period in a similar way. I think you're gonna get away with it. Well, you're wrong. Cause I'm gonna lampoon you through a comedy song, song, song. Talking about my beeps, 2011, things that want to shoot with my fury gun. My beeps, 2011, things that make me go, ah. Celebrity news, stop appearing at the end of real news. You diminish real news. And the death toll from the Japan earthquake could rise as high as 40,000. Christina Aguilera's cat has alopecia, no! People with iPhones, stop trying to show me what your iPhone can do, I don't care. Remember the truth, there is no app for loneliness. My friends, actual grown-ups, stop taking computer games so seriously. I have a friend who got up at midnight to get that Black Ops game when it came out a few months ago, and afterwards he honestly said, I consider this game to be the modern equivalent of reading a novel. <laughs> it's not! It's the modern equivalent of getting a novel and throwing it through a hoop. The modern equivalent of reading a novel is reading a modern novel. <laughs> He, he also plays Guitar Hero. It's not that he plays Guitar Hero and he's 30, which is too old. It's that he sometimes answers the front door late at night in just his undies and a t-shirt with the tiny, stupid, like, plastic children's medallion of shame around. And he thinks that's a real... No! I think it makes me particularly sad, because looking at it, I just go, like, the idea of dedicating this much of your life to attaining this pointless expertise in what amounts to a stupid plastic children's toy musical instrument. <laughs> Finally, people who constantly update what it is they're doing on the internet in the form of status updates. From where I'm sitting, it seems like there's two main schools of status updates. The first and the most common is make your life sound as awesome as possible. And that'll be like this, just had a picnic up a hill. What a perfect day. No! I know what you're like. You're bipolar. You cry for half the morning. But even more pointless than that is the other one about to make an omelette. What? You are about to undertake the mighty omelette. This could go anyway. Thank goodness you've told everyone. Somebody contact NASA. Contact CERN. You might create a new element. Clear a space on the periodic table for omeletium. <laughs> sort it out, world. If you don't, then you risk being part of my beast 2011. <laughs> Thank you. This is a song about the, the modern world. My friend was in a restaurant on a date and the date was going really badly. The guy was the most boring and stupid guy he'd ever been on a date with and he's wondering why he'd gone on a date with such a boring and stupid guy. Just then the boring and stupid guy got up and went to the loo and my friend decided to send a text message to another one of our friends outlining the ways in which the guy was both boring and stupid and including in it some direct quotes of things that he'd said that were boring and stupid. But when the boring and stupid guy came back from the loo, he could barely talk and he'd obviously He'd just been crying and my friend realized that he'd sent a text to the person the text was about <laughs> yes he'd sent a text to the person the text was about 
You can try and pretend that it was just a joke. Oh. <laughs> that you were just being inappropriately rude in a hilarious, over-the-top, inappropriately jokey way. Ah. But you can never be sure if the person believes you. So your relationship's effectively ruined anyway. You can just be honest and apologize, but now they know what you actually think about them. Probably the best thing you can do is just delete their details from your phone and hope you never, ever, ever, ever see them again. <laughs> a few years ago, I was doing this song for the first time, and originally it was just the first two verses that had ended with that last bit right there. And I was on my way home from trying out the song on my bike, and I felt a text message in my pocket, so I pulled over my bike to see who it was from. It was from a friend of mine who'd been at the gig. And the text message said, that was the worst gig I've ever seen him do. He used to be funny, but he's really lost it lately. Complete bullshit. <laughs> and even though he phoned up a minute later and we had a good laugh about what a hilarious prank he played, <laughs> I still can't be sure. He didn't send a text to the person the text was about. Thank you.